Good morning. <laughs> Hello, darlings. Um, this is my Pilates machine with cat toys. And this is my tea cup. I've got my cup of tea. I've got my water. I have my Pilates directions, which I kind of don't need now, but need just reminders of. So I have rolled this out. It takes me like two minutes. I roll out this mat. I roll out my foldable Pilates machine. I put put that little bouncy thing in. There's another um, bar that I can swap this with. And just so you know, this lovely magical Pilates machine lives right underneath my treadmill. So it just full it like goes out to kind of there-ish. And I just put, I, then I put my little bouncy ball on top of it. So it just all lives in the corner here. And this is where I teach. Right, so it's, it actually, it can fit in quite a small space in the, and the mat just lives like right behind my computer there. So I am going to, my evil plan today is to try to show you how to use and how fabulous this Pilates machine is. Okay, so should we have a cup of tea first? I think we need a sip of tea. By the way, there's balloons everywhere because it's my birthday month. Okay, it's my birthday month. <laughs> yes, you heard it right. It is not a birthday. It is a birthday month. So, and also half birthdays happen as well. So anyway, let me get set up here and I will show you how to use this thing. All right, so... You can do this without your shoes, yay. So, no shoes. And we do need a, a sip of tea. Hold on a moment, let's pause for a tea break. I've made some jasmine dragon pearl green tea this morning. It's a green tea. And green tea helps your body's autophagy process. So in the morning, since I don't uh, eat anything. I have a little sip of, I have a few cups of this green tea to help my body just kind of cleanse itself. Sometimes, if I remember, I will also take some activated charcoal like first thing in the morning and that just helps to like bind to any things that need to get out of your system to get out of your system. So I eat around 12. So today, right now it is 8.45. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair in a ghastly side ponytail. I hope you can hear me, I'm so sorry. I know that my sound is not very good. So basically these directions here, they will show you exactly how to do everything. I'm gonna put in, I have these like, let me see right here, but there's these like thingies, resistance thingy things that you can put in. And you'll get to know like what your comfort level would be. Like if you don't have a lot of resistance, then you're kind of using your core more. So this is the jumping part. Okay, so I have a, like a medium, medium-ish, medium-low resistance. And you can see, see how I'm like in the air for a prolonged time? I'm using my core here. So I do this for about 50, well, yeah, 15 minutes or so to start. So I'll just show you. You can do all sorts of things. You can do wee, you can do up in the air. You can go on the side. You can go on the other side. You can do like little scissor kicks in the air. You could do like, right? Um, what am I forgetting? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, you can um, turn your foot so it's like this, like that, and do like a kind of inner thigh kind of thing. All right, and just so you can see, I'm gonna put some more um, weight on the resistance so you can see how that changes. I'm just putting one kind of heavier one on. So, if it's heavier, you you can kind of get more of like, you can kind of run. <laughs> you can kind of run. You can also do one leg. You could do another leg. And you can see I'm not going up as much as I was before. But if I did, I would take much more muscle to do that, of course. 
So, oh my gosh. I'm gonna now show you some of the bar um, things that you can do with this. This is such a great machine. If you have injuries, because it is minimal impact, okay? Okay, darlings, I thought you might wanna see how you can swap this out. So there's like these little screws over here. By the way, I'm somebody that is easily befuddled. So it this is it did take me a teensy bit of time to set it up and also I did not put this together. My other half that is amazing and knows how to do all things did this for me. Um so <laughs> yeah, okay. So then you just screw it in and just like so. You have to be patient, yes, you have to be patient. There we go. Okay, so, by the way, my feet are absolutely like crazy looking and I'm very sorry, <laughs> but I had surgery on my feet like a few years ago. It was like, I don't even know how many years ago. It was like seven years ago maybe. And my toes are like just, all mangled and weird looking. So yes, I embrace them. I love my weird feet. So there's lots of things that we can do here. The directions show exactly how to do them. I am going to put on all of the bands because I am now strong enough to use all the bands. So the very first one, you're gonna put your feet like this so your um, heels are together. Oh my gosh, is this recording? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Put your heels together and the balls of the feet and then you just go out. So this is an inner thigh workout. All right, and I would do probably 15 to 20 and then another set. Um, so, so I would do these, I would do these 20 times and actually I would go on to the next one, I go through all of the leg exercises and then I do them all again. So um, that way I get kind of two, two sets of that. So the next one that you can do, if I remember is, um, I don't know, I'm having a brain fart because I'm on the spot. Um, this one, oh, arches. So you put your feet in the middle and then you go out. So you can do that 20 times. And then you can like keep it in here and do like little ones. And then you can put your heels up here and all the way out 20 times. And then little ones, 20 times. And then let's see, what are we forgetting? Um, you can put your feet on the ball, right? And then you're gonna go out and then you're gonna dip down and on the tip and then back. So out on the ball, dip down on the tip of the ball there still and back. So it's kind of like working the calves. I like this one because you feel that lovely stretch there, it's lovely. And then you can also put your feet on the side here and you go out. So that's an inner thigh one. And then you can also go up in the air like this and do the same thing. And that way you can kind of get your butt. <laughs> so there's that. You can also, so then I would do that all over again. I would do two sets of that. So then there's also these straps here, which you can't see these. You can do, do arm exercises, ab exercises. I'm gonna just show you, I'm taking a few of these hands and you'll, with time, you'll like figure out how much you want on there. But put your feet, there's two straps. One strap is for your hand and another strap is for your foot. So, oh my gosh, let's take the other one. So you just put your foot in the strap. Oh my gosh. And it is a lovely stretch. It's a lovely, lovely stretch. So you're gonna use your legs to go down and up. So you can push, you can literally just do this. Or you can start to do circles. So let's do some circles. Out and around. And of course you can go the other way as well. Right, so that would complete the leg exercises. So I'm gonna just show you. So 
some of the arm things that you can do. I'm not gonna show you all the things <laughs> because of the, I have to exercise, I have a busy day, darling. You can look into this. What was this? I'll have to link below the one that I got here. There's lots of Pilates machines out there, but I wanted a collapsible one. And um, I don't know, I'll link it below if I can find it. This was, I think it was around $500 for this whole, maybe five or $600 for the whole thing. So, um, sorry, my hair. Onwards to arm exercises. So I'm gonna keep two on there. Now I'm gonna turn around. Put my hands in the smaller bands and pull. All right, so there's this one that you can do. There's this one that you can do. There's this one that you can do. And um, oh, there's just so many of them. I'm just showing you that there's lots. <laughs> there's lots of things you can do. Now I'm gonna turn around the other way. And I'm still doing my arms but overhead like that. And you know, to stabilize yourself, you are using your core. So your core is engaged the whole time. Also around like this. There's lots of ab things you can do. You can actually stand on this. You can take the bar off and push this away to get more of a leg workout. But the, there's like all these directions. They're very, very easy. And I go through the entire routine um, a couple times a week when I do um, Pilates. If I wanna just focus on one area of the body, I will do that. I'll just you know, do three sets of 20 for the legs and then maybe I'll do some abs along with that too. And, that, and I won't go through the whole thing, but I can kind of target it. And of course, I love, this is called the rebounder. It's like a little trampoline. And it is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. So I do notice on my Apple Watch, which tracks my heart rate, that my heart rate is not usually super high. It's kind of more in the 125 um, side of the spectrum. Once I am warmed up, it takes me. It takes my heart rate a while to kind of get up there, and then sometimes it it will actually hang out in the lower hundreds, like. 98, 100, around there. And I noticed that when I'm doing certain weight exercises, my heart rate is on the lower side as well. Um, but that's that's okay. I don't, I mean, I think it's just, we're working on toning the body and that's very, very important. Strengthening your body, toning your body, not hurting yourself, things like that. So I would recommend adding a Pilates machine to your workout routine. I shall link the one I use below this fabulous thing. I've had it for probably a year now. Oh, maybe almost a year. Absolutely, absolutely love it. It feels very easy to do, but when you're done or the next day, you will feel it. <laughs> you will feel it. And the muscles in your legs, are you're gonna start to really feel those lean, fabulous muscles. Anyways, thank you for watching. Forgive my feet. <laughs> I'll see you soon.